Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Reynolds with Board. Better off reading every day. Today we have Max and Ruby. Sunny Bunny Tales. Grandma's Berry Patch. It's time to pick berries and make a great big berry pie, said Grandma. Grandma gave Max and Ruby three baskets. One, two, three. The blueberries go in this basket, Max, said Ruby. The blackberries go in this basket, and the raspberries go in this basket. Max ate some raspberries. Yum, said Max. Then he put more raspberries in his basket. Max, you can't eat the raspberries yet, and the berries go in the basket, not in your pocket, said Ruby. Next, Ruby picked blueberries. She put them in the basket. Max ate some berries out of the basket. Yum, said Max. Max said, Ruby, why don't you play with your dump truck while I pick the berries? When Ruby wasn't looking, Max filled his dump truck with all the blueberries from her basket. Max said, Ruby, where are my blueberries? Ruby saw Max's dump truck. She emptied the blueberries from the dump truck back into the blueberry basket. I'm going to pick blackberries next, said Ruby. Why don't you go play, Max, asked Ruby. Max got out his airplane with the remote control parachute. When Ruby wasn't looking, he flew it over the blackberry bush. Whoosh, whoosh, went the automatic parachute as it filled up with blackberries. Yum, said Max. Nice try, Max, said Ruby, as she put the blackberries in the basket. Grandma's calling me to help with the pie dough. I'll be right back, said Ruby. You stay here and play with your cement mixer, Max. Max got out his cement truck, cement mixer truck. He put all the blueberries inside. Chugga chugga, chugga chugga, went the cement mix truck. Soon Max had crushed berries. Oh no, said Ruby when she saw what Max had done. The berries are crushed. We can't make pie now. That's okay, said Grandma. It is, asked Ruby. Of course it is, said Grandma. We can have Max mush berry smoothies instead. Yum, said Max. And that's the end of that one. Right into the next one. Max cools off. Max and Ruby were thirsty and hot. They drank iced lemonade cool, said Max. Look, Max, said Ruby, the vegetables are hot too. They need water. Ruby turned on the hose, then Max gave the vegetables a drink, but Max wanted to fill his swimming pool. Cool, said Max. You can swim later, Max, said Ruby. First, we have to water the garden. Oh, look, Max, the flowers over there need water too. It's got, <clears throat> I'll go get a longer hose, said Ruby. But Max still wanted to fill his swimming pool. Cool, said Max. No, Max, said Ruby. We'll go swimming later. The garden also needs weeding. I'll go get some tools, said Ruby. Here's a shovel, Max, Ruby said. Go dig for worms.
Max dug while Ruby gardened. When Ruby wasn't looking, Max filled his hole with water. Then Max got into the great big mud puddle. Cool, said Max. Oh, Max, said Ruby. Now we're going to have to clean you off. Ruby turned on the sprinkler. Cool, said Max. Max Fireflies. That was the end of that one. Now we're on to Max Fireflies. It was the 4th of July. Max and Ruby and Louise waited for the fireworks in Grandma's backyard. We can watch the fireworks while sitting on my camping blanket, said Ruby. Good idea, said Louise. Fireworks, shouted Max. No, Max, said Ruby. Those are fireflies, not fireworks. Louise, let's get some more lemonade. When Ruby and Louise went inside, Max hid underneath Ruby's blanket. Fireflies flew all around, but Max could not catch them. Louise and Ruby came outside with the lemonade. Max said, Ruby, we need the blanket to sit on. It's getting very dark, said Louise. Quick, let's get a flashlight, said Ruby. Ruby and Louise went back into the house. Max wanted their lemonade bottle to catch a firefly, so he poured out all the lemonade. Ooh. Max caught a firefly inside the bat bottle. When the girls came out again, Max hit the bottle. Where did our lemonade go? Ruby asked. She looked all around with the flashlight, but didn't find it. So the girls went back inside to get more lemonade. Max caught more fireflies. Soon Grandma and the girls came outside. It's almost time for the big show, said Grandma. Hundreds of fireflies flew all around the garden. Fireworks, said Max. Fireflies are even better than fireworks, said Grandma. The end of Sunny Bunny Tales, a three stories in one book. What I love about this book, boys and girls, I do not own the rights to any of these stories that I read to you, but I do love storytelling magic and bringing the story to life with you today is always what I love to do. Sunny Bunny Tales was our first one, Sunny Bunny Tales. Our second one was Max Cools Off. And our third one was Max Fireflies. And what I love about these books is that there's three stories in here. So you can get three different adventures, three different storytelling magic. And that is what I absolutely love when you get a book that's filled with stories inside. So it's almost as if you could get three separate books, but all of them are put into this one book. So it is Miss Reynolds with Ward, Better Off Reading Every Day. It has been my pleasure to bring this Max and Ruby story to you. I don't know how familiar you are with Max and Ruby, but my daughter grew up on it and she absolutely loves Max and Ruby. And so do I. I think it's like the little theme song. Max and Ruby, Ruby and Max, Max and Ruby, Ruby and Max. Don't quote me on that, but it's something like that and it's very, very cute. So if you get a chance, look it up. They're always having these great adventures, these two, and they are just the cutest. Today, however, I only have with me Ruby. Here she is. Isn't she the cutest? Yes, she is. And she knows it too. So what I'm going to do, boys and girls, is I'm going to put this right here. 
this book. And you know what I always say to you? We're gonna give a quick board twirl. Why? Because people are always saying, Miss Reynolds, you never get up. So I'm up and I promised you that I would give a board twirl every now and then just for fun. So are you ready? Are you gonna twirl with me? Or are you gonna just sit there and check it out? I'll wait for you. You ready? Ruby and I are gonna do our board twirl. Here we go. Should we do it the other way around? And there it is, boys and girls, our board twirl. Gonna try to do it as much as possible every time I remember at the end of the story. So this way I'm getting up, you're getting up, and we're doing it together. Boys and girls, it's been my pleasure and I will see you soon. Say bye, Ruby. Bye. Max and Ruby. Ruby and Max. That's not how it goes, but you get the idea. Bye.